This guy literally did the impossible and everyone thinks that what he did can never be done again. The only world record that cannot be broken. The thumbnail says a lot. Why can it not be broken? It's July 20th of 1984 in Berlin, Germany. One athlete would set a world record that was so unbelievable that the actual rules in this event would forever change. The men's javelin, Uwe Hohn from Germany, set an unprecedented world record throwing the javelin 104.80 meters, breaking the previous world record by just over five meters, a massive improvement of 4.9%, which to this day, places this moment as the second greatest world record improvement in any event in history. What's the other one? The other one is? Only falling behind the great Bob Beeman's long jump. Long jump? That sounds even harder. Throwing an external object might have other things at play, like weather and stuff. And here, it's like just brute force produced by your legs. Basically. And technique, but. Good point though. With a powerful run up, a perfect angle of release, and one of the fastest follow throughs Jeez, that you'll ever fast. see in any so, throwing discipline. It almost looks sped right? up and it's actually slow motion. Yeah, 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 that was slow motion. <laughs> it looks sped up, but it's actually slow motion. That's how fast he throws. Yeah. They already understood that this world record just might stand forever. What? Heck? Here's a record that may never be broken. UA Hone of East Germany shatters American Tom Petronov's world record by over 16 feet. 343 feet, 10 inches. Watch where it lands, just inside the stadium. Imagine just throwing, throwing it out, out of the, the stadium. stadium. Or in the, there's people behind it. It's so insane that people at the time said this record will probably not be broken. In every sport, there is some progression. Always there's improve. always sort of a progression. So why? This really was a moment of pure athletics perfection. And if we fast forward some 38 years later, this world record still stands. However, this incredible record stands for a rather unique reason, which is much different from any other world record throughout track and field. Might the reason be because they changed certain rules? That would suck. That would kind of suck, right? If there is a world record that cannot be broken for 38 years, then you're doing a sport and trying to improve. But pretty boring. Pretty boring because you can't improve. It's probably about new standards or new rules. Same as with powerlifting benching, where it just lets you like the range of motion was less than my fingernail. And, and they change that. Those records that are set prior to those will never be changes broken. will never be broken. And of course. Soon after Hone's throw back in 1984, the actual javelin instrument itself changed in overall form, a decision largely influenced by Hone's world record that nearly exceeded the throwing area. <laughs> What, did they make it like unliftable or something? <laughs> the grip is too thick. So they made the sport harder, otherwise the stadiums need to get bigger. There's gonna be some changes in this event, the Javelin next year, because of a few things that have happened over the last few years. Well, the IAAF is afraid they're gonna throw it right out of the stadium, so they decided to change the Javelin. Now this is the old Javelin, the new one's come out in April, but what they've done is they've actually moved the weight forward in the Javelin, and they've made the tail thicker, so it won't go as far. How sick would this sport be if you could actually approach it like Formula One, so everyone could have their own javelin, they could make it as sharp as they want, and they can make anything they want, and then they can just go beyond what is possible. Then this becomes a, a team sport, because like the building yeah. of the javelin. But then how big are so the no, stadiums? I mean, you just have to have like a, a one that's just... Yeah, all right, all right. Hone's world record of 104.80 meters. This guy was way too close. Then 4.80 meters. Literally will never be broken. The current world champion in this sport, I want to see him throw the old, the javelin. old javelin and see how far he can throw. The closest that any athlete has gotten with the new version of the javelin was Jan Jelesny's legendary record of 98.48 meters which he threw back on May 25th of 1996. Also a long time ago, yeah. He was never able to compete for an Olympic gold medal. He won the gold medal in the Friendship Games with a throw of 94.44 meters, a throw that was almost 10 meters further than the eventual winner from the 1984 Olympics. But also the thing with the sport is that it's a moment. You have a few throws and that's it. Like, it's very hard to break a world record, to be like in, in peak condition. No one is gonna watch you try it for five hours straight, so. His career abruptly ended in 1986, after several setbacks due to unfortunate injury. Look at the arm position, like, it's not crazy that you get injured like that. Just the whole torque and momentum you create with your body, that all goes into your hand and then into like the javelin. And the but then of course your arm sort of has to take all that impact. And the imbalance he might be building. Oh yes. Because it's all just one arm. You're, You're not throwing with left. No, of course. Two, no. Hone has since become a javelin coach. And just like his previous days of competition, 
He has also seen worldwide success in this endeavor as well, as his own athlete Niraj Chopra won the Olympic gold medal in this event in the 2020 Tokyo Olympics, okay. winning the javelin with a throw of 87.58 meters. It's not evil looking. These guys started celebrating uh, already. Huh? But maybe they know. I know, for example, when I play yeah, darts, yeah. I know when I release a dart, that is gonna land in the spot I want. Many world records have shifted the landscape of their respective events. However, none have quite had the effect as Juve Hone's world record from 1984. We have a similar story. The highest jump in sporting history, the GOAT of the vertical. I always think this is so impressive. How do you time this? Because look at the, the timing. Oh, yeah, yeah, it needs to be perfect. This is Stefan Holm, and what he just did is difficult to believe. Jumping over a bar set to seven feet, 10 and one half what? inches, breaking the world record for the highest distance ever jumped compared to an athlete's height. Oh, it's relative as well. Compared to the athlete's height. Did you see that jump off? It's with one, one leg. One and leg. look at it, like, it's... <laughs> How much power he can create with just one leg. It's ridiculous. This early 2000s jumping legend set the still unbeaten standard for jumping greatness. For most competitive high jumpers, they almost universally measure in at above six feet tall. Makes However, sense. for Holm, who measures in at a modest height of 5 feet 10 inches, he somehow managed to jump his entire body what? over this barrier what? that stood more than 2 feet what? above his head. <gasps> this looks so fake. This looks so fake, yes. The man himself, Michael Jordan, still holds the highest vertical in NBA history with a beastly number of 48 inches. What? He, he literally floats. He has wings. Another NBA legend that reportedly had a vertical jump of 48 inches was the mythical figure himself, Wilt Chamberlain. Now, this guy wasn't just a beast on the court. What? what? He almost goes above the whole thing. Long jump, high jump, and sprint. They're pro basketballers, but they just do side quests. Like, let's see how high I can jump and maybe get a, a gold medal, or let's play some volleyball. Yeah, it's, it's, what the hell? The single highest football jumper in history was Josh and Mator Bebe. I've seen this. This went crazy viral on Instagram. He floats. Like the air time. It's yeah, the air crazy. time is crazy. This was a standardized vertical test. And unlike the other athletes that we've already discussed, he was able to elevate up to 47 inches with zero run up. But if you're looking for the one athlete what? who has jumped higher than any other person in history, we have to go back over 20 years in the past. Hailing from France, the jumping legend Cador Ziani. It seemed like he stayed in the air longer than anyone else before him. What the hell? He just fly, he just like take off. How high can you jump? 56 inches. 56 inches? Yeah. That's almost five feet. Hey. At five foot eleven, Ziani's abilities as a professional dunker are staggering. Five foot eleven? It's like short for a basketball player. That's our height, right? Yeah. It does seem to be the case that Kador Ziani has the highest vertical jump in history. Damn. Let us know down below in the comments which insane record we have to check out next. And these guys probably started really young to get this good at what they're doing right now. We actually made a video on this on kid athletes. Make sure to check out this video next. It's pretty interesting. Scratch me a little bit.